am really freaking excited to play Survivor. I have studied this game, I love this game, and I can't express how honored I am to be part of the first season back. That's freaking crazy. It's been a year and a half of quarantine, your mind's going crazy, and I would throw on Survivor and I would just binge watch it all day and all night. I got to look forward to seeing competition. I'm a former NFL player, and the competitive spirit never leaves. You're always trying to win at something. So this is the ultimate test for me. Survivor kept me going through pandemic. I was an alternate. I went from possibly being casted, so you're not on the cast, to being called 24 hours before you're going. Oh, I'm, I'm, out. I'm freaking out. I want to show my kids, you know, Mom said she's gonna be on Survivor, and look, she's here. Now you can really do anything. Like, let's start with making your bed. I've been a fan of Survivor since I could even watch TV. I was born after Survivor. It aired in 2000, I was born in 2001. And in my life, I always say there are three constants. There's my faith, um, my family, and Survivor. You know, take everything that makes Survivor great and inject it into my bloodstream, and, and there you have me, JD. As someone that is in the hospitals, on the front line, honestly, this past year has been pretty traumatizing for me, professionally, personally. And so this is kind of a complete reset for me. I am beyond ready to play this game. A lot of people will think that pastors, like, they can't play this game. They can't play this game well because they're soft and, you know, they want to take the high road all the time. Listen, I am the mafia pastor, okay? I am half Italian, half Jamaican. That means I'm cutthroat, okay? Like, I will pray for you and walk you out the door at the same time. I have no problem doing that.